Hey guys, good morning. It's another morning. It's a new day. So today we want to go. So we don't have much to do. I was just thinking of maybe going to the pool, maybe going to walk outside later on. But right now I want to head for breakfast. So let's go and see what that's about. And then we come back and see what's next. Let's go. Universe and I was revolving like a sun on my own. I know that you would do. So we have a variety of so nice things here, like this frigo, like jam, like yes. We got the bread, the brown, white. We have that, like, and are these pretzels? We're going to try like all of these and just see what's up. It looks so fresh, so nice. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. So here we have the breakfast section. We have overnight oats, poached peach, poached pears, plain yogurt, strawberry yogurt, mixed fruit yogurt. We have a couple of fruits here. Let's see. Cold milk, diabetic jam. We have quite a bit of food right here, actually. So, we have that. We have pork sausage, we got bacon. Here, the pork sausage right here. I think I have that instead. Uh, also have the chicken sausage right here. I'm not certain if I'm gonna take that or this ox liver. This looks nice. Take this and French toast from Cape Town. Ooh, hello. Oh, can I get omelet with everything? Yes. What's your beautiful name? Tamara. What's your beautiful name? Tamara. All right, Tamara. Yes, Tamara is good to me for me. An omelet with everything. And make, can you make it hot? Can you make it hot? I can make it hot. Yes. Sorry? Salt and pepper? Yes. And chili? Yes. And chili. Okay. Thank you. So I'm just stopping to Randall here. We're catching up, my best friend. Yeah. As I'm having my yeah. breakfast, um, let me just show you guys what I'm having. So I'm having an omelet right here with a cappuccino and um, pork sausage and bacon. And we got Randall there. Say hey. It's just my water and life is more calm. Period. <laughs> So, um, mm. We go see Abby when I'm back. Thank you. Look at this place, guys. Like, so cool. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Yes. For your love. 
This is the perfect view of Table Mountains, guys. Look at that. Really loved you. I never really did call you my only. I am only holding on to something in my head because I'm lonely. All right, guys. So I'm finally back home. Um, really sorry about that. I think I actually. I'm trying to say it. I lost all battery power and I realized that I forgot to carry my charger so I had to do what I had to do but I'm finally back home preparing some lunch I got home like a few minutes ago I'm really exhausted but I'm also hungry at the same time so I'm just gonna tell you guys shortly like about Cape Town guys if you're looking for a sign for you to like book the ticket and go to whatever country you wanna go girl this is the time this is the sign please cut the ticket because like Nobody's ever ready for these vacations. You're always like, oh my god, it's gonna be too expensive. But like once you go there and realize like how fun it is like to meet different cultures. You know, one thing I've come to realize, guys, is if you never left the country, you'll always assume that everything happens the Kenyan way, you know? I went to South Africa, I was in Cape Town and everything is different, you know? Like Everybody is embraced, everybody is so nice, everybody is so friendly. They speak a bit too fast though, so if you're Kenyan and you want to like keep up, you'd have to like maybe ask them to repeat, but politely, like don't antagonize them or everything. So, um, I was there for 48 hours, that was like two days. I enjoyed every bit of it. Can you imagine like walking down the street and seeing a group of guys who just enter a crowd and start dancing on a piano? Police care They vibe like that. Uko, I will just tell you one thing for free. South Africa is not Africa. Okay? Like you'd ask somebody from South Africa and they'd be like, So where do you come from? Oh, I come from South Africa. Oh, so you come from Africa? And they're like, No, I come from South Africa. Because those guys are way ahead. I loved their architectural um, structure. It looks very. It gives vintage, but vintage and modern. I don't know if you get it. Like vintage and modern. So nice. It's like they repaint their city every two days. Um, <laughs> so I walked around. I really enjoyed it. I got on the yacht, but they actually refused me to take pictures. I was in a simple yacht, the ones that um, have quite a number of seats. And like they, they, have, they had like the regular yachts and they had the exclusive yachts. So if you're in the exclusive yachts, you know, if you're looking at Burnham, or Debbie, or what, what, they'll be there. But now me, you feel me? Because we're starting this life, we were in the, <laughs> the regular yacht, which is actually very nice, by the way. Let me not lie to you. I don't see the difference because I'm still seeing the watch the same. So. Um, so yes, it was great. I didn't go snorkeling. I wanted to go for um, paragliding, but the winds in Cape Town were just crazy on that day. Actually, would not be able to paraglide because if I would have, huh, the winds were so strong in Lake Victoria. You feel me? So we're not looking for that. So maybe next time. Um, funny enough, is that the clouds actually disappeared the day I was coming to Nairobi. That's the day I could see the Table Mountains very well. That's the day I could see everything very well. But the, the first day when I was there and like the second day, midday, the Table Mountains were like were all clouded, like the clouds and what. So you couldn't hike, you couldn't paraglide, you couldn't zip line, you couldn't what. The winds there really dictate what you're gonna do, what you're not gonna do. So anywho, I got back home uh, from Cape Town to Nairobi. It took me six hours because I had to pass by Victoria Falls then Victoria Falls back to Nairobi. I stayed in Victoria Falls on ground around 50 minutes before we could board the aircraft to come to Nairobi which took around 2 hours 50 minutes. I was on the Embraer 190. These days I know the names of the aircrafts you know because I'm like cool like that. <laughs> I'm sorry just banter but like 2 hours 50 minutes from Victoria Falls to Nairobi. But if you're doing a Cape Town flight to Nairobi, direct flight will cost you. We will take you around 5 hours, 15 minutes. So, still good. And you get to serve.
drivers on board and the crew were very nice. So, yeah. Honestly, I would lie to you. If you'd go there, there was this statue that I saw that had all the four presidents of South Africa. I took pictures of them not knowing even one of them. I only knew. Was it Nelson Mandela? I was the only person I knew. So, yeah. But anywho, Cape Town, fun fact. Cape Town was the first place I've gone as a country. I have never left the country, so I'm really happy that my first destination whenever I live in the country was Cape Town. It was beautiful. I cannot emphasize how beautiful that place was. It has palm trees in the road. Like I felt like I was in LA. You know? Like I felt like I was in LA. It has palm trees all over, like on this side and the side. People are so nice. You just have to stay vigilant. But all in all, the experience was fantastic. Very fantastic. So if you're looking for a sign, this is the sign. Please go, 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 go. Like you really don't need to have enough. Does it to have a lot of money to go to Cape Town? Like, just plan yourself like Jipange and like maybe put a time frame and see like how soon do you want to go, save up. I feel like you can even have a minimum of even around like 50, maybe 50 bands Kenyan money and you'll have the time of your life in Cape Town. As long as your hotel is sorted or maybe you have an Airbnb or what, you'll really enjoy yourself. I did. Personally, I did. So... I was, as I said, I was there for 48 hours. I went to the Table Mountains. This are one of the historical sites in Cape Town. I went to Waterfront, where now you can see the Table Mountains like properly, properly. I was in the yard, yeah, you know about that. Um, the hotel I was staying in um, had breakfast um, and dinner, but like, as I said, like my charger was in Nairobi, so I could not afford to like vlog the dinner, so I could save some some storage for the next day but um that happened um we flew back i did as i told you i did the victoria falls flight uh then to nairobi so it took me around almost six hours uh maybe seven hours because i did a transit and i was on ground for maybe an hour so now i'm home i am preparing dinner i have guests coming over i need to discuss music my producer is coming over we need to talk about how we need to revamp but right now i am back i am so gratified i have so much grace i feel so good god made me left the country and i got my passport like maybe a month ago and in two weeks i went to cape town so this is your sign so right now i'm just uh, gonna finish making my dinner my lunch as i wait for my producer to come over because i know he is very on on-time performance and like watching to do he's very critical on that so let me prepare for that um making for him some pillow because so at least i can make him relax he doesn't he's so mad at me so let me just make some pillow so he can calm down <laughs> so but um other than that this is my home cape town was great if you did a sign for you to cut that ticket please do Thank you so much for staying with me throughout this vlog. I'm going to see you guys next time. Thank you so much and bye-bye.